Hey everyone, it's Rhonda here from Flowers and More by Rhonda. So glad you stopped by for a check-in. Um, today I'm going to share with you all my August Gone Artsy goodies for the month. And I'm really excited about working with all this. And a few things I'm going to go over real quick is don't forget to check out our Gone Artsy uh, challenge group where you can be the lucky winner of a $10 gift certificate. Uh, this month, the challenge is an abandoned art project. Uh, just head over to the Gone Artsy Challenge group. Check it out. Deb has a video. It's hosted by her this month. Uh, she has a video on uh, everything that you need to do for the challenge. And it uh, seems pretty cool. So, uh, don't forget to check that out. And uh, this month, we'll be welcoming in our new DTs. I'm really excited to get to work with them. Uh, they were picked and announced um, earlier in July, I think. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they will be starting out with their projects this month. And I um, hated having to say goodbye to our other DTs, but uh, I've made some wonderful friends. And I wish them all well in their future endeavors and hope to get to work with them again sometime. So, uh, a lot of people know that I have been out myself because uh, of surgery and everything. And now I'm waiting for test results on my thyroid. So, <sighs> hoping for good thoughts there. But anyways, this month we've got some brand new items in the shop. And if you haven't got a chance to go to the shop to take a look, head over because Deb has got some fabulous new products. Uh, a lot of these are some of my favorites that I've loved working with that I have shown before. Um, some are older products uh, from the shop that I've been wanting to get and hadn't gotten. So I'm pretty excited about showing them to you all. And this month, our theme will be beach. So that's what this beautiful seam binding is for. Uh, Deb has got many colors in the shop. This is just four of many. And they come in five yard increments uh, for $1.25. So um, it's a really great deal. And this seam binding is really wonderful. And... Um, it dyes very well if you want to mix colors. So, you got a wonderful option to choose from there with her seam bindings. And I'm not going to take those out of the package. I'm going to leave those in. And this is an, an older item that Deb has had in the shop for quite a while. And our lovely DT Itza, uh, worked with it several times. And it is a red rolled flower trim. I had been dying to work with it and I kept forgetting. But this one is great. You can cut it apart. It's a nice size. I mean, the flower fits like in the palm of your hand. Uh, I called it two for one because you also get a beautiful center if you just want to use that. So, pretty awesome. Next, I want to um, show you how Deb has sends her bling and some of her trims. And these beautiful little organza bags, which are great to use for later, for something else, or for gift giving. So that's how her beautiful little pieces of bling come. Now this one I had another one, like my, the red one. I kept forgetting to get it. And our wonderful guest DT Isha has done some beautiful, beautiful projects with us. And this was one of her favorite pieces. And if you haven't gotten a chance, go over to Isha's Crafty Side on YouTube and um, check out some of the projects she used this on because they are absolutely beautiful. Okay, next we have these beautiful floral. Fl uh, bleh, let me try that again. Four petal flower lace. There we go. Now I have this today in the ivory and the dusty pink, but it also comes in like a sage green. Um, which is also absolutely beautiful and I believe I have a sample of it behind me but um, yeah I love to work with these when I do my fabric flowers um, 
I know that a lot of people have probably caught my class and have seen me make them. Yes, I do love making them. I enjoy making them. Um, and if you get a chance, check out Fiona Jennings because she has some, some awesome fabric flower tutorials. And she that's where I get a lot of my inspiration with them because she's just fantastic with them. And she has some really cool ideas uh, with her flowers. Another thing, uh, this is very new to the store, and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And it is called the Beaded Floral Applique Cabochon. And this one is a soft white. And it also comes in a round. It's completely round, where this one looks like it has petals. Uh, very new to the shop. It has pearls and little crystals and gem. Well, no, there's no gems. But there are little crystals. So pretty. This would be beautiful for a flower center. Or you can just add it anywhere on your project, just like that. I love it. Now this beautiful piece is a light blue organza embroidered lace. It is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And you could cut around this and just use half of it on a project. And it's a beautiful light blue. Very pretty. Very pretty. And this here is a um, ivory crochet trim. I just love this. It is a cotton. You can dye it. Well, you can dye all of Deb's laces in the shop. And some are cottons and some are synthetics. And if you've never dyed uh, materials, laces, or anything before, your synthetics are not going to dye as dark as your cottons. Uh, which, honestly, I had never even gave a thought to that till Deb had demoed it. And over on the Gone Artsy YouTube channel, you can find a few videos on the You Can Tuesdays uh, specials that she does on Tuesday nights. And she has got several different dyeing techniques that she has shared with you. There's uh, chemical dyes, natural dyes. Um, very interesting. And over on our Gone Artsy fan page, she also has a, a list of different color combinations and what to use to get them. So check that out. It's pretty awesome. Now this piece is one of the newest in the shops. And if you got to join us last week for our... Uh, you can Tuesday special. Deb had halved it and she created a crown using this. And this is the Scrolled and Scallop Lace Trim. I believe that is right. Do let me make sure on that real quick here. Uh, this again uh, is what, yes, Scrolled and Scallop Lace Trim. This is one of the newest ones to the shop. Very beautiful. And it is a synthetic. So pretty. So, so pretty. Next are these white gross grain ribbon organza bows. And they have beautiful little rhinestone and heart centers. Great to add to a project. I think they would be absolutely darling on a pair of heels. Uh, you can make them for barrettes. You could even dye them. Uh, great for weddings. Absolutely great for weddings. And these come in a set of two. Love them. And this one right here is the, let me find it here real quick. Uh, the Double Edge Wild Flower Lace Trim. Another one of my faves. Um, I love to cut it in half and use it. Absolutely gorgeous. It is a cotton, so you can dye it. Uh as well. Well, again, you can dye all places. When I say that, what I mean was your cotton is going to dye darker than your synthetic. And this beautiful piece right here is the new one of the newest to the shop. And it is the faux pearl and rhinestone chain. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And this flat a petal right here, or flower, it measures about an inch and a quarter. 
and you probably cannot see this in this video but it has a beautiful little edge around each little petal so I know you can't see that and then it has a beautiful little rhinestone center and rhinestone trim here absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful fell in love with it when I seen it and DT Itzo was the one who demoed it first and I thought oh my goodness how did I miss that <laughs> and then we have this beautiful little crown charm in the shop well I said a charm it's not a charm I'm sorry just an embellishment and she also has another type of crown that is uh, pink rhinestones and it's a little bit bigger than this I think that she's so darling 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 and Deb has various different styles and shapes of doilies in her shop and she has ovals she has rounds she has big rounds she has little rounds and like on this one you could cut that apart just use that center which I would have never thought of uh, but that was inspired by Fiona she does a lot with doilies so And then this one is just your round one. And the, she has these sizes also in white. Very nice. And then this one is absolutely beautiful. And let me get the name of this here real quick. It is the Ribbon and Board Doily Mat. And this all here is sewn in with a ribbon. Very, very pretty. In fact, I'm going to lay this down. So, if you didn't want to craft with that, <laughs> they would be beautiful on your tables or your vanities. So, gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I love this in here. It's like a waffle check or a pattern. So adorable. I me, mean, I was like, oh my god, when I pulled it out of the package. Beautiful. All right, next we have this 5x7 scrolled frame. And it's that, um, oh shoot, let me think. It is the, uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue, MDF frames very cute and the opening is five by seven and it also comes in this style and then it comes in a five by seven dot frame and I think these would be perfect to put like on the fronts of an album okay or if you're wanting to make you know a family photo or something for gift giving and get you a little easel and set that right on and you can do it either way Fun, fun. And then this is the off white faux pearl garland trim. And Deb has this in pink. And she also has a couple of other garland trims. And I just think this is so fun to work with. So cute. Let me put this back in here. Now I'm going to show you a few of these. Uh, uh, pieces of embellishments and I've got a nice little assortment here okay now these right here are um, I'm gonna look these numbers up so let me get these together for you these here are also new to the shop Let me set these aside because they're just extras. Whoops. But I'm going to have to pull my uh, 
keyboard over here because I want to make sure I get you the right names of these. So you'll have to excuse my cord there. And let's see here. Yes, this one right here is called the Faux Pearl and Rhinestone Large Petal Flower in the Ivory. And again, this is one of my faves as well. I think they're absolutely adorable. And it's made of metal. And uh, Deb's embellishments are they're nice and heavy, but yet they're not too heavy. And that's what I really like about them. Okay, next is... The Six Petal Daisy Elongated Pearl and Rhinestone Flower Embellishment. And this one is also one of my faves. Love using them for centers in my fabric flowers. But I, again, adore making. I just think they're fun. So that's a very pretty piece. And I've, I have showed you all this piece before as well. And then the next item is the, now this one is new to the shop. It's the Rhinestone Teardrop Dangle. And they come in a set of two. And these are great to add anywhere. Or you can make earrings out of. Wouldn't that be pretty? Beautiful little earrings. So... If you are definitely a DIY bride, uh, Dev Shop is the place to go for a lot of your products. Or if you know someone who is a DIY bride, that's what I call them. <laughs> and they're the kind that I love to work with myself. So, uh, okay, the next item is item number... Get it looked up here for you all. It's the 14 millimeter metal tree of life shank buttons. And these come in a set of four. And they are a nice size button to use on your projects. And who doesn't adore buttons? I mean, they're just, they're fun. Let me get these turned around here where that way you can hopefully. I don't know if you can see those or not. You can set up four of those, and again, those are metal. And that should be this one. It is the multi level pearl and rhinestone round embellishment. Another beautiful one in the shop. Very, very pretty. And now. I will show you these two pieces. Let me just flip through here because I've got my paper a little marked up. And this is the 15 millimeter white rose and rhinestone embellishment. Now these come in several colors. Uh, these are the white and you get them in a set of two. And uh, like I said, Deb has various colors. She has a mint green. She has a caramel rose. Uh, I believe a lavender, a peach. So, yeah, there are several colors to choose from in these. And they're absolutely darling. I had even taken um, backs for earrings and made a set of earrings for my daughter. <laughs> Because she, um, well, she loved them. So, uh, in the backs, you can get from Miriam's Crafting Supplies. And I just E6000 them right on, and voila. She had a very pretty little pair of earrings. And next is, this is also one of my faves. It is the Scalloped Five Petal Pearl and Rhinestone Flower Embellishment. 
another beautiful piece absolutely gorgeous and it is uh, you can even make that it's a button all you have to do is take that back right off but if you sew how pretty would this be on a beautiful beautiful blouse gorgeous all right well those are all my beautiful products uh, from the shop this month and stay tuned um, Check us out on Tuesdays, uh, one Tuesday of the month I'm on, and then the next Tuesday, Deb is on with her two, You Can Tuesday tips, uh, simple, quick little techniques, um, quick little classes, just to give you an idea on something to do for quick little projects, um, fun projects, gift-giving projects. She has some really awesome ones, and again, uh, be sure to check out our YouTube channel because she has some awesome uh, dyeing techniques for your laces and uh, our new DTs again like I said they will be hosting this month with some of their projects and I believe some are going to be doing classes so stay tuned for that be sure to check out our calendar on the Gone Artsy fan page to keep up to date on when classes are and who will be hosting and don't forget to check out our challenge page you could win yourself a $10 gift certificate to the Gone Artsy Shop. All right. Thanks, everyone, for stopping by. I appreciate it. And until next time, everyone have a great night. Bye-bye.